Good morning, everybody. We're having a makeup masterclass today, aren't we, Joe? So uh, it's just going to be a quick, brief vlog today. I'm not going to go into the unit. Chance, yeah, honestly, every time I start filming, he's such a diva. So I thought I'd give a quick rundown of the control boxes. Said I wasn't going to do a video on them, but it's Sunday. I'm having the day off, so bit of filler. So I've already done a um, video on these actual control boxes before or at very least the design of them so I'll just give you a quick rundown again of the uh, schematic and then we'll have a look inside the box so this is the uh, schematic that I designed something slightly different on this side the last valves I used were they had uh, two poles for the live feed and a single neutral and you just switch these poles the ones I've got I've just got the two wires on so we're gonna flip the polarity using the double pole double throw relay and we're wiring up the heating side because we've got low wattage heating blankets on the tanks we're just gonna pull the power for the heating straight off the live buzz bar uh, and then yeah four cables coming in one that will attach to the live buzz one will attach to the neutral buzz one will be coming from the glycol pump and then one will be going uh, yeah so and then one will be earth of course i knew i'd get there in the end so yeah you've got live neutral earth and the glycol pump cables coming in and then you just send those four cables back out because you can see the glycol pump cable is basically just a loop into pin four of every single pump relay and then when just one of them provides power from the common bar when the STC energizes the pump relay coil then that will provide power to the pump regardless of which unit is activated so to join them together I'm going to go to screw fix and tool station today and pick up some four pole push connectors so all we'll have out of the side of each of these boxes is two cables coming out, one in and one out with a push connector on each and we'll just be able to disconnect them by pulling them off sailor and uh, then we can pull we can pull the fermenter out without having to mess about getting inside the box to disconnect wires so here's one we made earlier this is almost complete. I did actually have one of the relays fail on me last night through testing. There was a little bit of verdigris on the copper contact, so I just binned it. There are a couple of quid. I, I bought it in a 10 pack, so it's not worth trying to claim it back off the eBay seller. And you can see that's how we've got to wired up. I mean, if you want to pause the video and have a look, you can do. Uh, it should tally up with this diagram here, but I'm not going to run through it all and explain it again it's relatively simple as right time to get in the car I got changed to prove to myself I'm serious about not going to work today I guess I am on about going to tool station you're picking all the daisies how many have you got there's loads of them you could make a big daisy chain if you don't pick them all at once this is the only daisy patch we've got in the garden, isn't it? We've got a weed patch over there, look. With purple broom. Let's have a look at your makeup then. Oh my god, you look like you've just been on stage in cats. Right, we've done the rounds. Just finished at Tool Station, which is fast becoming my favourite DIY venue. Right, let's go home, my dear. Look at that. Gemma's smiling for one swallow. I always smile. Not to me. And now we're oh, going to ask pick my friend up. Question. Georgia. Sorry? <laughs> oh, we're not having a domestic on camera. Bye. So we're back in Wrightford and uh, these are what I've picked up. These Robus Swift 20 amp connectors. Let's push this button down here like that. And they come apart nicely. So what I'm going to do is connect a load of them up onto onto the fittings just like that 
we've got a male and a female, an in and an out, and then we'll just loop three phase uh, four core cable from one box to the next, which is what I'm preparing here. But as it stands, it's half past one on a Sunday, folks, and uh, I'm going to go out for a couple of hours. So Gemma's taking the kids to the park. I'm going to go and meet Craig in the pub for a few pints. So I guess we'll come back to uh, these control boxes tomorrow. We'll see you then.